Are you thinking about making a move to Summerfield, North Carolina? I am here today to take you on a tour of the five best neighborhoods in Summerfield, and you're gonna wanna check it out. My name is Meredith Parsons. I'm a realtor. I live here. I love it here. I want you to move here and love it as much as I do. If you could, and I would absolutely love it, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because each week I'm gonna take you on a little tour, a little adventure, and I don't want you to miss out. Are you ready? Let's go. the five best neighborhoods in Summerfield. We're gonna start off in the north, then go a little west, and then we're gonna head south, and then end up on the western side of Summerfield. And I want you to stick to the end because uh, that neighborhood, you're probably gonna get the most bang for your buck in Summerfield and that price point, and you're gonna wanna check it out. Let's go check out those five best neighborhoods in Summerfield. Um, you can see here, this is the loop around Greensboro. So up here, um, the first one we're checking out is Lennox Woods. We're gonna head over to Henson Forest. The next one's going to be the vineyards at Summerfield, then Polo Farms, and then the last we're gonna check out is Trotter Ridge, okay? Let's get after it. Okay, so Lennox Woods, as you can see, is straight up north of Greensboro. And it's a ways out. I mean, Summerfield proper is like really over here, but I mean, you're you're in the Northern schools up here. And Northern, um, Summerfield has Summerfield Elementary, and it depends on where you are, which schools you're gonna be going to for elementary, but all the middle and high schools are gonna be going to uh, Northern schools. You can check out crime, or uh, check out greatschools.org. You're gonna see that they're highly rated schools. I don't know why I'm not allowed to tell you that, you're just gonna look at it for yourself and you're gonna know. So I'm just gonna tell you that they're top rated schools. Okay, so Lennox Woods is out here. Uh, usually you're gonna, if you're gonna need to go into the stores and shops and everything, um, you can come down Lake Brant Road. It'll turn into Lawndale. There's um, the Science Center's here, but if you come a little bit further, there's a, there's a Target over here and um, grocery stores. So anyway. Let's go back out. So let's just do it this way. So out here, now I can't use this. <laughs> okay, so this neighborhood, um, they're still developing. So it started in um, the early 2000s, but they're still building out there. Um, when the last I was out there, the sign said there were 26 lots available. I don't know exactly how many are out there, but they, you are still able to build in this neighborhood, which is awesome, right? So um, these houses um, range in the 500s to 900,000. Um, the 500s being older houses um, that have been not probably been updated to the newer ones that are gonna be you know, new construction houses. They're gonna be close to 900 or um, you know a million. So uh, you're further out here. So here's where the uh, Northern High School and um, middle school is. Uh, to go from here all the way to downtown, it's 30 minutes. There's no fast driving way to get here. Uh, this is a two lane road. Um, that you would be coming in and out on on Lake Brant and uh, Lawndale. You've got the shops out here on North um, Church Street. So that grocery store is about 12 minutes away, I'm going to say. So um, it just takes longer. Like you're, you're further out and that's fine. Like that's totally okay, right? So um, you're just gonna be further out, out here on Summerfield. Uh, if you wanna check out my other video on um, green spaces, you've got Vermill Park. That's probably gonna be 15 minutes away. So um, you've got the Hall River State Park over here. So you're closer to that Brown Summit. Um, they've got Reedy Fork or Brine Park there. They've got some great, great golfing, a great complex, the soccer complex. So, uh, and the Blue Heron um, King Fisher Trail. So there's a lot of hiking trails and stuff out here because you're further out. So, you know, just keep that in mind in terms of 
uh, commuting. I don't know if you're working from home, what you need, if you're one of those that needs to go out all the time or, or go places, you're just going to be further out. But further out means county taxes. Everywhere that I am showing you today, they all have county taxes. So um, just keep that in mind. And now let's head on over to um, Henson Forest. Okay, so Henson Forest is straight out... Um, you would take 220 out of Greensboro. And um, this one, if you go back and check out my Summerfield video, you can see what Summerfield looks like. Um, just what it, you know, they, they've got Summerfield farms out there. You're about five, 10 minutes to the grocery store out here in Henson Forest. But Henson Forest, I, I like where this is located in the sense that you can hop on 73, which turns into Bryan Boulevard here, which is going to take you into downtown Greensboro. It's about 25 minutes for you to get from Henson Forest to Greensboro, downtown proper. Um, it's going to take you like 12 minutes to get to the airport. It's right here because you're going to hop on 73. Uh, you can also hop on 220 where all the shops are. Um, big box stores, I should say, not like boutique shops or anything, but you're that close to Food Lion, so you're right there. Um, again, check out the Summerfield video. You can see Summerfield Farms. They've got a lot of events. They do a lot of like social things for both um, adults and families. They've got, um, they hold events and, and, and weddings there and, and things like that. Um, the elementary school is right here. Your Summerfield Elementary. So you are slotted for Summerfield Elementary and then the Northern school. So the Northern schools are over here. So it's a little bit of a farther away ways, but it's, nothing you can't handle. Revolution is a charter school. So if you get into that, that could be something um, for you. You know, it just depends on, on what you're schooling, uh, what you're going to need for that. Uh, so um, the houses predominantly in Henson Forest are start around the 600,000s and then head on up to a million and a million plus. So uh, this one, I think proximity wise for jumping on things it, it is nice because you've got the highways right there. You can be, if you work in Stokesdale, you're close to Oak Ridge, uh, Kernersville's not far and neither is Winston-Salem just because you've got all the highways to get you around. Okay. Our third stop is going to be the neighborhood of the vineyards at Summerfield. So it's in this section here. And you can see where it's located because we were just over here. And the first one was out here. So this one's closer into town. It's not the closest into town. The next, the next neighborhood we're gonna check out is there. But this is great because you're like three minutes from Food Lion. And um, this neighborhood was started in the early 2000s. They range from like 700,000 to a million plus. I mean, every most of the houses in Summerfield are larger homes, they're more expensive homes. Uh, if you're looking for a, a, a less priced house price point, um, I would say below four, they're not necessarily gonna be in a neighborhood proper. It's just gonna be a house um, on, a high, on a road or like on 150, which is totally fine, right? It's just, if you're wanting a neighborhood feel, it's harder to find when you're moving out to Summerfield and Oak Ridge. So this neighborhood, it's not a cut through. It's, it's not a huge wine. You're not going to have people cutting through or you're not going to have a bunch of traffic. So not having sidewalks, is not a huge deal. The roads are wide enough. The road wide enough for you to park on. Um, they have a pool and uh, a pool house and tennis courts. So they do have these amenities here in this neighborhood, which are great. The HOA at this neighborhood is 170 a month, but you can see that everything's close by right here, what you would need. You've got a Walgreens, Food Lion, Exxon, that sort of thing. So everything's close. There are hiking trails in throughout here, which make it super nice. And um, you can see down here, but, it, the Greenway goes from downtown all the way up and they're working on connecting it all the way down to High Point. So 
the Greenway trails, there are so many and through here, I, I can't even show you all of them. I could just get a map, put that on my list of things to do. Okay, let's go check out the fourth neighborhood. Okay, the next neighborhood, the fourth neighborhood we're checking out is Polo Farms. Now this is the closest into downtown or into Greensboro proper. So let's scroll out a little bit. There's the loop, here it is here. Um, so this pocket, this neighborhood's a little bit different in the sense that the lots are, are much bigger than the other ones. I mean, most of them are in are at an acre, but these tend to be up to one, one to two acres. And this neighborhood also, Polo Farms, they have their own equestrian center here. I guess if you have a horse or you're big into equestrian um, riding, they have that there. Um, you've got the Atkin Trail, this is close by. And the way that this is the close proximity, you hop over here, you get on Strawberry Road, you're on 220. So you're already here at Burr Mill Park. Go check out that video that I did on Green Spaces. Burr Mill's here, they've got a three, par three golf course and so, so, so many hiking trails. It's amazing. Um, both like paved, like sidewalks, big trails, like they're paved so you can ride your bike on them. Your kiddos can ride your bikes on them. So that part, that part's really good. But 220's got all, all the things, like all the big stores, big box stores, like Walmart, Trader Joe's, That's all that's just right here. It's, it's not that far. So on Battleground, you've got Harris Teeter close by. You could also go back up to the um, food line that was up here that we saw before. So you, you definitely have options and it is closer into town if you're having to come into Greensboro a lot. It is very close to that. And what's great about this is it's right close to the loop around Greensboro, 840. I call it the loop because I grew up in Maryland, so I'm used to the Beltway and calling it the loop. So um, you're close to, you're in close proximity to that. It's gonna take about 23 minutes to get downtown and I would say 12 to 15 minutes to get to the airport. So you're right there. This neighborhood does have a pool and tennis courts, just like all the other neighborhoods that we've seen today. I forgot to say that both Polo Farms and uh, the vineyards at Summerfield are both slotted for Summerfield Elementary School and then Northern Middle and High School. Okay, so let's go check out our fifth and final stop, which is in a completely different area. So let's check it out. So our fifth neighborhood and our final destination today is Trotter Ridge. Now Trotter Ridge is on the western part of Summerfield and is closer to Oak Ridge. So this one is different in a lot of different ways, um, Trotter Ridge is. So Trotter Ridge is, um, has the, le the least expensive houses of the neighborhoods I'm showing you today. Um, they are, some of them are in the fours and then they go up to almost the upper eights. Uh, so but this neighborhood is located, it's still, it's still in the county taxes. All of them today are in county taxes, which you know, I love to save money. So you get to save it that way, but you're closer to Oak Ridge. So the schools here are completely different. You're going to go to Oak Ridge Elementary School, and then you're going to go to Northwest High School, Middle and High School. So the Northwest High School is right here. The Middle and High School are together. So you're super close to school if that's what you're, if, if that's something that's of importance to you, if you've got children. That may not pertain to you, but I'm I just need to give the information so you have it all. So, um, so that's what makes this this neighborhood different. Now, this neighborhood does not have a pool and facility like all the other ones do. So, you're gonna have to join if if you want. You can put in a pool. These are bigger size lots. They're one acre lots, or roughly around that. And so, you can put in a pool or or join join one. So. Um, this neighborhood being where it's located is 11 minutes to the airport right here. And it's going to take you about 25 minutes to get to downtown Greensboro. And you're about seven to 10 minutes to a grocery store. But you can see like Summerfield Farms is here, food lines over here. So you're just going to have to backtrack up here to get to the, the closest grocery store. But you could also take in the Batman way, as my children and I call it, or their shortcut. Um, you can cut down over here, come down Lewiston Road, and then get on 
um, Fleming and come in this way and get to the, all the shops here at New Garden. So New Garden's only 12 minutes away. So you can be to Target, Aldi, Marshalls, Home Goods. There's so many grocery stores over in this section. Fresh Market, it's the one I always keep forgetting. Fresh Market's right here. You've got Lowe's Foods and you've got Harris Teeter right here. All that. So that's three main grocery stores right here, plus Aldi, which is a grocery store. And if you come a little bit further down here, you're going to be at Trader Joe's. So this one is located. And if you're looking to be on the western side, say you have to travel to, to Oak Ridge or, or Kernersville a lot, Colfax, Winston-Salem, which is over here, um, this may be a good option for you because you're on the western side. Um, of Summerfield. I appreciate you sticking to the end and going to the five best neighbor here, neighbor. Uh. I appreciate you sticking to the end and seeing the five best neighborhoods in Summerfield. Uh, if you've got any comments, oh my goody aunt. <laughs> I appreciate you sticking to the end of the five best neighborhoods here in Summerfield, North Carolina. I hope you've learned something. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and come back next week because I'm going to be showing you um, the five best neighborhoods in real life. I'm going to be driving around, showing you what they look like, and you're going to want to check it out. Okay, thanks. I'll see you next time. Bye.